Hello guys, today I'm going to review this Rejuvenate High Gloss Wood Floor Professional Restorer. I have decided to use and try out this high rated floor restorer available at Home Depot. Uh, this costed me around uh, 20 bucks which is quite cheap and decided to go for it. And uh, this is a 32 ounce bottle. Uh, as per the manufacturer, it covers uh, around 520 square feet of area. Uh, this um, it is high rated as I am saying because the reviews are really good and I really really tr I want to try out and see that how exactly the final finish looks like. And this product brings back the uh, life in the hardwood floor. Uh, the durable finish is clear and leaves your hardwood floor with high gloss finish. As per the picture also it, sh it is showing very nice high gloss um, uh, to the floor. I decided to go for this one because of the good reviews as I mentioned earlier and important one is this is non-toxic and also polyurethane based formula uh, cleans and fill the scratches and dents. This is what I am more interested in also that whether I want to really see that the small scratches which are visible on our floor whether they goes out or not. Uh, another. Uh, Feature I liked is that there is no sanding or refinishing is needed. There is no wax built up. So over the period, uh, the floor will remain same. It has a resistance to the stains and spills. So which is a good thing. And it gives floor some kind of durability. And uh, it helps in bonding the original finish also. Uh, and the shines as per the manufacturer. Uh, shine last for years of course uh, time will tell that uh, whether uh, the shine lasts for years or not so after going through the uh, different options what I found that these are the things which are required some mop some gloves uh, wood filler this is the wood filler I am using um, to just fill up the big cracks in the floor some microfiber cloth and some kind of a cleaner so I'm going to use this Dirt Devil steam cleaner so let me show you and walk you around the floor to show you how exactly the floor looks floor is not that bad it is in uh, good shape the only thing which is missing in this entire floor is the high gloss which you see that the place where the light is coming from the window like here it shows the high gloss but otherwise the entire area is kind of a dull so what I've decided is that to rejuvenate this entire floor to see that how it looks after using this product and if you see over here there are few cracks were there which I filled up using the mm, crack filler I'm going to sand it uh, this particular area and uh, and after that clean that surface and apply the floor We'll go step by step. So the first step is uh, swipe the uh, swipe the entire floor, remove any debris or dirt or dust, anything in your on the floor, and then just clean it using the wet mop and let it dry for one hour. And once that is done, we are going to start applying this uh, rejuvenate floor uh, restorer. So let me cover the uh, mopping of the floor um, uh, and then uh, once it dries out we will actually apply this floor liquid. Okay, it's almost one hour and uh, the entire floor is now dry and basically now is the time to actually rejuvenate this floor using the solution so as per the instructions whatever is required I've already done so let me show you the first part is basically clean floor thoroughly done preparation put a clean dry rejuvenate microfiber bonnet to head sponge mop to create a microfiber applicator 
so I've done this one also so this is the app this is going to be my applicator I'm going to use it uh, um, uh, this one to spread the uh, solution on the floor the third part is it says that apply uh, this working uh, the solution in the 5 feet by 5 feet section according to the chart given on the left this chart nothing much in the chart but uh, this is how I'm going to do it and and then let it dry for uh, one hour before start walking on the floor and if a second coat is required we have to wait for another um, uh, couple of hours before we apply the second coat in my case I'm going to just use apply the one coat and let's see how it looks after applying the coat and once it is uh, dried out so I'm going to start from this corner so this is first patch this will be second 5 by 5 feet patch and then I'll try to uh, cover the third patch in this area and this way I'll cover the entire floor and once it is done uh, uh, we'll see that how it looks another thing is uh, basically while applying this uh, solution just put it in the uh, shape of S so that it is very easy to uh, spread it out across the floor let me start the process and uh, we'll cover each and every step in detail this entire uh, uh, little bit of solution in the uh, floor to cover this and then spread out this using the uh, fiber cloth which we had used so I have already done this part but this is the part which I am going to show you so it's like this not too much effort is required the solution is not thick that you need a lot of effort but uh, as per the instructions go with the grain so I am just first spreading this on the floor and then just matching with the grain so I will show you the final product uh, that how exactly the floor looks once it is done and this is how the floor looks now and it is not yet dry but uh, pretty much good floor now uh, it shows the gloss but uh, not heavy gloss I see uh, the reason could be it is just I've done just one application uh, maybe if I after drying out this one if I don't see the gloss which I was expecting I'll go for the second round of the um, application and see that how, how it looks but uh, other than that uh, uh, if I look closely the floor looks very uh, floor have now the glossy finish all over the surface and this is how the final floor looks like after the second coat of uh, solution And it's pretty nice gloss after the second close. Thanks for watching.